Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. This week I'm back with a quick tutorial on how to use up those fabric scraps. So the tutorial that we'll be working on today are these little sandwich or snack bags. This fabric you can see has a little sheen to it. This is actually laminated cotton and this is from Free Spirit Fabrics, uh, their line, their Sugar Hill line of fabric, which is really pretty, I think. And they basically just put like this laminated, this waterproof uh, vinyl or plastic over the top of the cotton fabric. So one side of it, you can just wipe it clean so it's waterproof. And then on the wrong side of the fabric, you can still feel like if it would be the back of just a plain cotton fabric. For the snack bags, you can see here's the opening. And then after you put your sandwich or your chips or whatever it is in there, you just flip the top over and that's how the closure works. So there's no zippers or buttons or anything, but you can see by the overlap there, nothing will come out of it. And I'll be walking you through the tutorial how to make it from the laminated cotton, but I also have another fabric here, just plain, the 100% cotton fabric, again, from the Sugar Hill line for Free Spirit Fabrics. And it's the same thing. You can make it out of pretty much any fabric that you want. I would use something that's washable that you can clean um, just because it might get dirty depending on what you're putting in there. But these are great because they're reusable, they're environmental friendly, and I have a few different finishing options here. If you have a serger, that will work, but then I'll also walk you through how to hem it, so you can use just a simple hem to um, finish off your edges. And on this one here, you can see I used some pinking shears, so you'll always have that option as well. So let's quickly start with the supplies we'll need and jump right into making our snack bags. So to create our snack bags, we start with a piece that measures 18 inches long by 7 inches wide. And this is that laminated cotton fabric that's slick on the front and just plain cotton on the back. And that's the one that we're going to be using to make the baggie today. But here I cut out some other pieces the same size, but this is going to be the one that's hemmed. It's just plain 100% cotton. And the same for this, except that on the edges on this one, I use some pinking shears to help keep the fabric from fraying. If you don't have a serger or pinking shears, I'm going to show you how to do it to basic cotton fabric. You're basically going to do two simple hems on the short sides. I folded my fabric under towards the wrong side a quarter of an inch and then refold it on itself. Press that in place with your iron and just a straight stitch and stitch it down right close to that folded edge and repeat that to both short sides. Now I'll show you what I did for the laminated cotton. Even though this fabric is not prone to fraying on the ends, I'm still going to take some pinking shears and just run it down both short sides of my fabric to help keep that from fraying. You can also use this on plain, just 100% cotton fabric as well. Now you take one short side and fold it. Notice I have the fabric with the pretty side facing up, and I folded that edge in two inches. Now all you need to do is take the other end and fold it all the way over so that all your edges are matching. And now we're gonna use a straight stitch on our sewing machine and the edge of our presser foot as a guide and stitch down both sides, remembering to back stitch at the beginning and at the ends. Then you can reach into the opening and turn your baggie inside out. You can see what it looks like. Where you open it right here, this is where you would insert your snacks or your sandwich or whatever other items you wanna to use to keep in here. And to close it, all you got to do is flip the little flap over the opening and turn it out just like this. And then you can see that whatever you put in there won't be coming out. And if you're using fabric that frays and don't have the pinking shears or a serger, just do zigzag stitches on the edge of those interior seam allowances and that will keep those edges from fraying on you. And now that your snack bags are complete, I encourage you to go head over to your stash and pull out any small scrap of fabric that you may have. If your scraps are not as big as you need to complete this project in one solid piece like I did here, feel free to use some smaller strips and just sew them all together and make one larger piece and then just cut out the size that you need to create this size or even smaller or bigger size baggies that you need. Uh, this would also be great to use up some old clothes, maybe old shirts and things like that that you have that are 100% cotton. And it's just a great way to kind of help the environment in a small little way by making these reusable snack bags. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll give it a try. I'd love for you to leave me a comment below and let me know what you're using these baggies for. They're not just to be used for sandwiches and snacks, but there's tons of other things that you can do with it, similar to my drawstring bag tutorial. If you'd like to check out that tutorial, you can click right here to go there. Remember to upload pictures of your completed projects to our Facebook page. I love to see what you're making from the Crafty Gemini tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial.